What is fiber? Well, ladies and gentlemen, to understand what fiber is, I want you to think of a shiny, sharp, clear edge diamond. It's traveled across the Indian Ocean from the deepest and darkest mines of the Kimberleys in South Africa into your lucky hands. Looking down onto the diamond like a bird's eye, the size of it would match a Rolex head. Imagine juggling it up and down like a party trick, then you manage to accidentally swallow it. It sluggishly rolls down your esophagus into the deep empty pit that is our stomach. It's so strong that we can't chew it and break it down. And any attempt to chew it would leave our teeth shattered like the heart of Selena Gomez after her breakup with Justin Bieber. The enzymes and acids in our stomach cannot penetrate the strong cell walls of the diamond, leaving it fully intact. So our body says we have to get rid of it. It enters our large intestine where water and energy help it pass through to the other end. You turn around after sitting on that warm toilet seat. You look down into the bowl of sediment and see the diamond. It's a diamond. It might not be shining, but it's a diamond. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an analogy for fiber. So what is fiber? Fiber is a carbohydrate that cannot be broken down and absorbed by the body. We cannot use it for direct energy, so it has other purposes. What are those other purposes? Well, in order to understand that, we have to understand that fiber is split into two groups, soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. So what is soluble fiber? Well, soluble fiber forms thick gels and pastes in our stomach and our small intestine. So let's just say that your favorite drink is lemonade or Coca-Cola. You break the seal on the top of that drink and you drink it. Due to the nature of sugar in water and sugar in carbonated drinks, it can enter our bloodstream rather rapidly. This will cause a rapid spike in glucose in our blood and also a rapid spike in insulin in our blood. This may lead to the feeling of us going up with energy and coming down with energy, also known as the roller coaster ride of glucose. However, if you drink that same soft drink, but you have rolled oats and nuts, the soluble fibers in the rolled oats and nuts will form thick pastes and gels in our stomach and small intestine. And this will delay and also reduce the amount of sugar that will be absorbed into our bloodstream. So instead of it going up and down, it's gonna be a bit more of a wave and it's gonna cause us less trouble because we're not gonna feel really excited and then really, really tired and lazy, you know what I'm saying? So that's to give you an example of soluble fibers, insoluble fiber. Now, how many people take their phone with them when they go to the bathroom? How many people even go the extra mile and have phone calls and meetings while they're on the bathroom? Well, how many of us had to struggle while we're sitting there really trying to push out some stuff when we really should be relaxed and taking it easy while we're sitting on that toilet? Well, this is where insoluble fiber comes in. Insoluble fiber will pass through our small intestine and end up in our large intestine. When it reaches our large intestine, it will draw water and form a nice movable object that Sir Isaac Newton will be proud of. This creates a nice solid stool and it really helps with making our bathroom visits nice, easy and relaxing and stress-free. Now, if we don't have fiber, it could lead to things such as constipation, which basically means we're struggling really hard when we go to the bathroom to push out those, uh, those extra pieces of love, and um, it can cause us lots of pain and also lead to things like hemorrhoids, um, which is not fun at all. So who needs fiber? Well, everybody needs fiber. It's important for everybody to have it. But where does fiber come from? Well, it comes from fruits such as bananas, vegetables such as unpeeled carrots, potatoes, and broccoli. It also comes from grains such as oats, rice, pasta, and also comes from nuts as well, almond nuts, macadamias, peanuts, etc. How much fiber do we need? For the average Australian male, the adequate intake level is around 30 grams per day. For the average Australian female, the adequate intake level is around 25 grams per day. Now, if you're struggling to count how much fiber you're getting in a day, you don't know how much, you can also use apps to enter what you're eating. And one of the ones that I use, it's called Easy Diet Diary. I'll get the link below in the description. You just gotta click it and you can get it on your phone and you'll just type in, for instance, I had cornflakes. You type in the brand of the cornflakes, it comes up and all of a sudden it will say fat, carbs, protein, and then you'll have fiber. It might have three grams, 10 grams, whatever the amount is. And that way you can see how much fiber you're getting in your day. 
Why is fiber good for us? It helps us ferment those good bacteria in our intestines, which can in turn lead to reducing the risk of developing colon cancer. It helps us go to the bathroom and it helps with those bowel movements. It helps slow the absorption of certain compounds such as sugar. All right, guys, I hope I've answered the question today as to what is fiber. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button down in that bottom right hand side of your screen. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below any thoughts or any questions that you have. It's Stefan here at SXT Fit and I'll see you next Thursday at 3 p.m. Peace be upon him.